Hey, it's Ahem Collector here. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the two-panel death card of Michael Grosso. Uh, so without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. Well, I guess briefly before we get started, this is going to be a longer video. Uh, Michael's card here took me on a wild ride that we're going to get into in a second here. Uh, but starting from the top under this uh, nice larger photo that we have of Michael, uh, in pious memory of our hero and prayer, Michael Grosso uh, from Brocksdorf. Uh, he was a milling apprentice in the town clerk mill. I don't really know what a clerk mill is. I was having trouble finding information on one. Uh, but regardless, he was a grandier in a panzer regiment who died at Hero's death on December 12th, 1943, near Logdonosko in South Russia at the age of 19 and a half years. O oh Lord, grant him eternal rest. Now, I was able to find a casualty record for Michael. He was born on September 10th, 1924 in Brauchsdorf and was a pioneer in the second company of Panzer Pioneer Battalion 29, which is part of the 29th Panzer Grenadier Division. Now, this is where stuff gets weird. So this is the only casualty record I could find for Michael. It clearly says that he's a member of the 29th uh, Panzer Pioneer Battalion. Now, the problem began with looking up the 29th Panzer Grenadier Division because they were fighting in Italy. Uh, the 29th, previously it was the 29th Infantry Division, uh, motorized. They were destroyed at Stalingrad, reformed in France, and then sent to Italy. And from the time that they, you know, got to Italy, past Michael's death, they were still in Italy. Now, I have occasionally run into instances where parts of divisions will be split off and sent elsewhere. Uh, for example, a couple recent videos on the 7th Gebridge Division, there was a part of that unit that was split off and sent to the northern part of the Eastern Front from where they were up in Finland. Uh, they ended up being killed near uh, Lake Ilmen there. So I was wondering if maybe that was the situation here with Michael. Now, I couldn't find a ton on the 29th Panzer Grenadier Division. But what ended up happening is I found that there was a book that was published back in 1960, which I have here, 29th Division. So I bought this specifically to try to figure out what the heck was going on. Um, before I start, though, one really cool thing that more history books need to do, all of the maps for the book are in this handy little like separate booklet. So you don't have to constantly flip back and forth to where the map pages are. You can actually just have this booklet like open off to the side which is super useful, and more history books need to do that. Now, basically, for those of you who've been around for a while, I don't know German. Um, I have to actually spend the time translating all of these documents and pages and things that I show you guys. So I slowly went through this and tried to just pick out, okay, here's a reference to the Pioneer Battalion, here's another reference. And what I ended up finding that was kind of interesting is that on page 301 here, we have a reference to uh, Kampfgruppe Holzapfel, which was previously the Pioneer Battalion. So Holtzopfel had been the head of the Pioneer Battalion. I found that out from looking at some of the earlier pages. And I'm not sure if this reference means that he was taken to command this Kampfgruppe or if the Panzer Pioneer Battalion formed the basis of this Kampfgruppe. However, as far as I could tell, there's very few references, if any, I didn't see any, it's possible I missed some, to the Panzer Pioneer Battalion after this point. So I think the entire battalion was turned into this Kampfgruppe. Uh, the problem is there's no record of them ever on the Eastern Front either. So I was kind of at a loss at this point. I was thinking that maybe, I don't know, I was missing something somewhere. So I went back to Michael's casualty record, and I noticed that his um, training battalion was listed as the Panzer Pioneer Ersatz Battalion 80. Uh, so this was the unit that was supplying replacements to various other um, pioneer units in the German army. And going to uh, Lexicon de Wehrmacht, which is a great resource that I use all the time, it's probably one of the easiest ways to look at the organization of the German army throughout the war. Um, they have a listing of all of the pioneer battalions that Panzer Pioneer Ersatz Battalion 80 supplied. And it admits it's not a complete list, that there are other units that are supplied that are not listed there. However, there's only two Panzer Pioneer battalions listed that this supplied, which is the 27th and the 38th. So because of this, I'm thinking there might have actually been an error on his casualty record here, uh, and that he was actually part of one of these other Panzer Pioneer Battalions. So I looked into them. Panzer Pioneer Battalion 27 was part of the 17th Panzer Division, which at the time of Michael's death was fighting around Kherson in Ukraine. Uh, the 38th Panzer Pioneer Battalion was attached to the 2nd Panzer Division and was fighting in Gamel Bolaris at the time of Michael's death. Now, according to Volksbund, Michael is buried in the Kropivnitsky Cemetery in Ukraine, which is north of uh, Kherson. So based on that, I'm leaning toward him actually being a member of Panzer Pioneer Battalion 27, 
not 29 as is originally listed here because the location and everything else kind of lines up. So I could be completely wrong. This is all just me piecing together the little bits of evidence I have. It could be that there's something I'm missing about the 29th Panzer Pioneer Battalion. But the other, the other option, and actually a mildly humorous one, is that because a German cleric screwed up 80 years ago, I've now spent multiple hours of my life correcting their mistake, which, I don't know, I find that at least a little bit humorous. Now, going back to Michael's card here, regardless of what unit he was in, he's listed as being killed at Bogdanovka, Ukraine, taking wounds to his stomach and both of his eyes. Now, moving to the back of the card here, uh, we have just a really nice HCOM 106 backing with uh, Michael Grosso, Grenadier, and a Panzer Regiment. So yeah, very interesting card. Um, you know, a lot of times when I'm researching these cards, it takes me very little time to pull the cash record, put everything together. So when I find these cards that really have me thinking and having to pull out all of my skills and things, it's um, always interesting to see where I end up. So I'd be curious to hear what you guys think. Am I right that Michael is actually part of the 27th? Um, do you think that maybe I'm wrong? I'm missing something related to the 29th? Uh, I'd be very curious to hear your thoughts down below. Uh, so thank you all for watching. Happy collecting. And I will see you all again very soon.